Wake up! New mid journey feature just dropped. Introducing slash describe for image to text on mid journey. Use the describe command and upload an image to get four text prompts that try to describe the image. You can then click the buttons under the command and generate each of the prompts. This is crazy. It said, oops, people hit it too hard. It's borked. Engineers are trying to fix it. So it's a little wonky right now, but this is amazing. We're going to hit slash. Describe, all you need to do is write DE, enter. It's gonna give us an image. And now I'm thinking, yeah, let's do something weird like this. Oh no, something went wrong. Yeah, okay. I guess it's not working right now, but I already did some, so we can take a look. I took this picture here. And if you wanna know how I got this, subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. You'll see it in an upcoming video soon. And here, describe will give you four prompts. A character in armor with two swords standing under some trees in the style of grid-like structures, visual Kai, K, Kai, dark silver and yellow, chaotic academia, sharp attention to detail, sharp angles, heavy metal embroidery, dynamic structures. AR 115 by 144 is what I found interesting. It's a four by five picture, which is 80% or 0.8, you know, and 115 by 144 is like 0.79. So I found that kind of interesting but then take a look at how different the other descriptions are a man in a black outfit standing on an empty station in the style of elemental forms light gold and silver destructive intricate details dynamic anime intricate weaving voitlander brilliant photorealistic accuracy number three grim gore character by sylvana kdr in the style of ayami kojima light black and silver non-linear structures dramatic vistas Kazukisa Kondo, Wilfredo Lam, Fujifilm Eterna 250T Type 8560 Dark Black and Gold. Number four, Kirin Kushiro, Armors by Lion, Leons, in the style of dark. Foreboding landscapes, interlocking structures, cinematic mood, dark yellow and silver, suburban gothic, sharp edges, use of ephemeral, ephemeral? Eph ephemeral ephemeral materials realist details that's a whole lot of nonsense it's not exactly how i write prompts you want to see what it come up with so we can go below the descriptions and we can generate each of them here's the first batch and i think these are amazing they're not exactly what the picture was but i think this is a way to get some really amazing prompts based on other prompts that generated great pictures do you know what i mean like i think mid journey is going to be able to take a good picture and just describe it in four different ways. I don't think it's going to be possible for you to get exact replicas, but it's certainly going to open the door to a bunch of aesthetics that you were unaware of. I think here's the second prompt and it came up with the background I think is a little more in the real world and the figure is pretty cool too again I like these pictures but should I be focused on whether they correctly portray the original picture it was trying to describe I don't know and maybe mid journey will get better at describing pictures as we move forward number three these are pretty sick I mean they're kind of hard to look at kind of hard for your brain to decipher what's going on but I like them and number four these are hilarious if describe was working I would try something right now I'd upscale one of these and then I would get mid journey to describe that and let's see if it came up with the same prompt I don't know if that's gonna work I think we can try it though we'll go to number one check this I love this picture what is mid journey think of it I don't know if I necessarily want to read every prompt I don't think you want to hear that Let's just skip to the generations. This is kind of close. A robot person in a colorful spacesuit against black color. That's kind of correct. In the style of fluid brushwork, light purple and dark orange, vibrant manga, cyan and black, thick paint layers, strong color contrast, parallax intersecting planes. Now, one of the reasons I think this feature is going to be so groundbreaking is that it's going to teach you so much about prompts. I'm not the biggest fan of long prompts because I think it's hard to understand which words really matter, but if you're used to writing short prompts, you can use this describe feature to unlock and expand your vocabulary. Like the idea of fluid brushwork, vibrant manga, thick paint layers, strong color contrast, not necessarily the most unique words out there, but they're going to remind you of certain words you can use to get specific looking pictures. It's amazing. Oh, these are sick. A warrior. Okay, now I'll just try and point out some of the keywords. Warrior, bright colors, futuristic spacescapes, ink blots, dark aquamarine, orange, purple, orange. Ooh, mentioning orange twice, that's interesting. Complex, and then it's 
it's gonna give you some artists sometimes, and I think those will be useful to most people. Graffiti style, I don't know if I would have said that here, but that's good to know. Vivid color scheme. You know what, let's upscale these now because I like them so much. I thought this was interesting. It came up with Halo, which is just Master Chief. And I guess the picture kind of looks like Master Chief. I mean, kinda, but I think it's okay if one of the four is kind of not what you were expecting. Mm, this one didn't work out that well. A robot, sure, abstract art, style of vibrant color gradients. I don't know this artist, stylistic manga, mysterious space, distorted. I'm a little shocked that this prompt made these pictures. I don't know if I would have expected that. Okay, this was fun. I put a picture of me and I wanted to see how Mid Journey would describe it. <laughs> these are pretty good. We'll start with number one, man with a bald head, check. Smiling at the camera, sure. Post minimalism, varying perspectives, dark indigo and dark brown, maybe. Linear and airy, vibrant, metaphysical, sensitivity, non-linear, post-apocalyptic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like so. I mean, I guess Mid Journey is not quite good at describing how a face actually looks right now. It kind of just gives the overall image. So of course, these bald guys are not going to look like me. number two, a bald man taking a selfie in a living room. Check. 100% in the style of a realist precision. Justin Curie, Andre LeBlanc, Emile Galle. Spiritual resonance. Yes, completely. Natural simplicity. Dark navy and dark brown concise brushwork. Sure, great. Smiling bald man with a black shirt. Adam Paquette. Video feedback loops. What does that mean? Alfred Gayou. Tyler Walpole. Boy camera effects. Contemporary academic realism. Classical precision. Orderly arrangements. Oh, number two kind of looks like Voldemort. I hope I'm not going down that path. But look at this. This is so funny. It described me as a man with long hair, takes a selfie in his house, dynamic symmetry, scientific approach, controlled spontaneity, fluid transition, subtle self-similarity, dark brown and indigo, simplistic. Shout out to Mid Journey for giving me some hope and I'm happy that you see me as having long hair. Never change. I think this is a pretty stunning image and I would love to be able to recreate it. Let's see what Mid Journey can do. A character wearing yellow suits and orange coat, style of Frank Miller, dark silver and red, Jake Wood Evans, Yoji Shinkawa, Urban Pop, Dark Crimson, Urban Landscape, Colorful and Bold. These are pretty sick. I'm a big fan. I don't know if it's super consistent, but you know, perhaps this one is. These aren't quite there. Image of a dead man wearing red and yellow, holding a knife, comic book style graphics, futuristic urbanity. Urbanity. Urbanity? I've never said that word before. I don't even think that's a word. It's a cool word. Layered textures, shapes, light yellow and dark silver. J Japon Japonism? Influence pieces? I don't know. Cool pictures. A man in an orange outfit with a dead mask is standing in the style of pop art inspired comic book style. I like that. Light yellow and red. Joji Manabe. Dark silver. Yellow. Where? I don't. Dark silver. Maybe. These are all right. I, I think I like the first prompt best. Oh, these are sick. A ninja character with a jacket in the style of dark yellow and crimson urban dreamscapes all over composition, vivid contrast, light yellow and light silver, punk inspired art, surrealist manga, bold color contrast. What's fascinating to me is that if you would have used these words and gotten these pictures, I would have called you a madman. How did you come up with that? But sure enough, this is what it creates. This is what Mid Journey knows. That's how Mid Journey thinks and that's how Mid Journey speaks. It's a really interesting insight into the mind of this AI. Let me do some quick math for you here. 91 divided by 51 is 1.78. 16 divided by 9 is 1.77. Repeating, of course. So that's interesting. Even though it's 16 by 9, it gives you 91 by 51. I don't know. Maybe it's more accurate. Yeah, these are nasty. Okay, look at this girl. I was fascinated by this picture. And I said in my last video on portraits, maybe I can link it up here. Don't quote me on that. If I could get this style of look every time, I'd make the coolest comic book ever. Let's see if Mid Journey can help me out. This illustration is of a Japanese girl in black and blue style of dystopian cityscapes, light yellow and black, new realism, punctured canvases. That's a cool word. Couple of artists, cybernetic punk, cool word. And I think these are cool pictures. I like them. I don't think it's quite what I was looking for, but I'm a fan. Uh, girls with black hair and earphones as seen in street art, dynamic graphic novel, dark gold, light black, Hirohiko Araki, 
Iraqi, Iraqi, Futuristic Cityscapes, JC Leindecker, Light Azure and Black, Antebellum Gothic, cool word. Number one, that's amazing. Oh, these are so sick. I mean, I'm a little concerned that they don't quite look similar to each other. I mean, there are some subtle differences, but on the road to consistency, there's going to be some bumps. And what I'd love to show you is that when you go to generate these prompts, the prompt box actually pops up first and it will let you change any word you want. You can change the subject and it'd be a lot of fun to try, but of course it's not working right now. Stay tuned till the end of the video. It might start working and I'll be able to show you then. Oh, these are super different. Pretty but different. Cartoon Girl on the Street, Dystopian Fantasies, Japanese Inspired, Mosaic Inspired Realism, that sounds pretty cool. Neopunk Rebellion, Modern Portraiture, Intricate Storytelling, Dreamlike Scenarios. I like them a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna talk about consistency, these look pretty similar to each other, maybe except for number one. Cyberpunk Punk, Traditional Japanese, Cartoonish Innocence, Detailed Intricate Hyperrealistic Cityscapes, that's probably clutch. I think I like that a lot. Mystical portraits, characteristic comic book art. Sure. And you know what I want to try? Let's go back. Which was this one? Black hair and earphones. So that's number two. And then watch what we're going to do. We're going to go S0. So we're going to take that prompt. We put S0 on it. We're going to change that to S500. We're going to hit up on our keyboard a couple of times. Go back in. Change this to S1000. Go back in. Take away the S. And we're going to put C14. We're going to go back in. And I'm going to put a custom argument I made, which is just dash dash 14. And that's going to turn it into C14 S300. On to the girls. S0. Wow. These are sick for being s0 that's why i really recommend trying s0 and s1000 for every prompt you do you really never know where mid journey is going to go with it for those of you who don't know a low stylized value means that mid journey will more strictly follow your prompt okay here s500 the higher the stylized value the more creative mid journey is going to get and possibly stray away from your prompt. These still look amazing for sure. I like these a lot. S1000, the most creative mid journey can be. And these are still beautiful. Chaos 14. Oh, these are unlike anything I would have thought this prompt could create. This, oh. Chaos adds the most interesting element to your prompts. If you've got time to experiment, highly recommend. Chaos 14 S300. Oh my gosh. I love these. I love number three. Oh, I like them a lot. Okay, let's try to describe again. We're going to take these guys. First, you have to save them to your computer. Oh, it worked. Unreal. Okay, let's see the similarities. Two knights standing in a dark room. Holding swords, ancient dungeon. Two knights in knight form. Two knights in armor stand opposed together. Let's upscale them and let's see what it does. You see how the prompt box shows up? Okay, let's take a look at the knights. Here's the picture. Those are fairly accurate. I think Mid Journey did a good job. More accurate, not bad. Those are pretty good and maybe the closest. Okay, look, I have an idea. We're gonna go D scrap. We're gonna put these dudes. Uh, these are <laughs> nothing like the original picture. However, I think that original picture would have been hard to describe, so I'm not even mad. I don't know how Mid Journey would have ever done it. These are pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie, it's not exactly close. It's not close at all. It's not the same picture. But it's interesting to see how Mid Journey comes up with these. And just to let you know, the picture I tried to describe came from an image prompt. So Mid Journey kind of didn't get any text input for it. It just put two pictures together. Uh, uh, these are cute, I guess. Not, not bad. And then which one can we change? Maybe a group of men holding beards. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's try number one. We're going to say a group, say a group of dogs. Oh, I love the dogs. These are great. I mean, again, really not what I was looking for, but that's okay. Mid Journey tried its best. Okay, there's a rundown of the new Mid Journey feature. Describe. Let me know if you spot any cool words or patterns from these descriptions that Mid Journey generates. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.